Hello. Good morning, class. Yeah, welcome to today's lesson. Today we want to continue our lesson on market structures and its analysis. So, at the end of the lesson, I expect students to be able to define monopoly, identify characteristics of monopoly, explain short run equilibrium, explain long run equilibrium, state five sources of monopoly power, state and explain three merits of monopoly, pinpoint three the merits of monopoly. So these are outline. We look at the meaning of monopoly, characteristics of monopoly, short run equilibrium, long run equilibrium, source of monopoly power, merits of monopoly and the merits of monopoly. Have you heard the word monopoly before? Yes or no? Okay, so monopoly is a market structure where there is only one seller of a good or service but many buyers. It is also a market model where there is only one producer of a commodity. So monopoly is a market condition in which there is a sole producer of a good. A sole producer of a good. That means only one producer of a good. And that good has no substitutes. That is also monopoly. A firm that produces the entire supply of a particular good or service that has no close substitute is called a monopolist. Right, so there are some characteristics of monopoly I would want you to take note of. First of all, a single seller in the market. So for a monopoly market structure, there is only a single seller or a single producer in the market. And the good in question has no close substitutes. And thirdly, there is normally a restriction for firms into the market so it's very difficult for a firm to enter the market now quickly let's look at profit maximization under monopoly for, no, for monopolies there are two options for maximizing profit the monopolies may decide to maximize the output and um, or um, so to maximize the output and reducing the price or he can also limit the production of the good or service and fix a higher price because he is the only seller of the commodity he can decide to produce more and reduce the price he will increase his profit on the other hand he can decide to limit his production and increase the price he can by that also increases profit in a monopoly market, the demand curve of the firm is identical to the market demand curve of that product. You know, the market demand curve is a um, combination of all individual demand curves in the market. But for the monopoly, he is the only producer in the market. So his demand curve is identical to the market demand curve of that product. And in monopoly market, marginal revenue is always less than the price or the average revenue of the commodity if you remember in our studies in perfect competition we realized that marginal revenue for a perfect competitive firm is equal to the average revenue not so with a monopolist or a monopoly market for a monopoly market the marginal revenue is less than the price of the commodity demand curve is same as average revenue care so the demand curve of the monopolies is the same as the average revenue care we'll have a look at um, the grammatical illustration of the curve of a monopolist for you to appreciate so much but let's move on to short run equilibrium in the short run a monopoly firm can reap either supernormal profits or normal profits or subnormal profit in the short run in the short run that can be done so um there's an illustration of the supernormal profit i want to pause here i will continue in the other slides and expound on the different types of profits with curves so thank you for your attention i would continue in the next slide